Mình đang đi tới đâu bà Đang đi đâu, ở đâu vậy? Ủa? Đang đi đâu, nói cho cho mọi người nghe đây Ủa, wow, wow, wow Ủa, oh, yeah, he's got a little giddy <cười> So he weighs just as much as a car. Wow. Nope, he's only 12. 12 years old. Yep, and he can work well up into his 20s and live well up into his 30s, sometimes 40s if their health holds out. Wow. Now he can pull 6,000 pounds with ease. Really? So without my, other than my voice, he has no idea we're even back here. <laughs> he works on a verbal command, so you can kind of see how his ears are facing me. Yep. He's just eavesdropping on everything I say, waiting for a command, kind of like a seeing eye dog. He's super tail swishy right so now. So this is a trained horse. Oh yeah, he is super trained. He is about as trained as they come. It's a big horse right now. Oh, it's so big. It's so big. And when we get back, I'll let you pet him on his big nose. Mmm. Is that fun? Yes, yes. of course. Now to the left of us, this is the Cass River, mm -hmm. and it's named after Lewis Cass. He was Michigan's second territorial governor. He had a lot of infantry titles, and he was one of the founding fathers of Freemasonry here in Michigan, so he was a pretty important guy. Now the river, it's only about three feet deep right now, which is typical for this oh. season, but in the spring when all the ice and the snow melts, the water levels can actually rise right up to the rocks at the very edge of the road. Almost up here? Yeah, all the, yeah. I've personally seen these observation decks totally submerged. Wow. So it gets kind of eerie. Sometimes I'm like, oh boy, I'm glad horses know how to swim because we might be floating into Zenders. That's, that's right. But it's a great fishing spot. You can get just about any species wow. out of there, and it's totally legal. Wow, I cannot imagine that, you know, like the water go all yeah, the way up yeah, here. Yeah, it, it, it is eerie. The last time, the only time it's actually ever crested over the road here and flooded out the town was in 1986. Oh, they had a slow-moving storm system, what they refer back to it as the 100-year flood. And it was a slow-moving storm system that hit the area. It dropped about 14 inches of rain in about eight hours. So obviously this road had no, no chance of holding all that water back. So you bet the water it caught it's come all the way up here. What about this side? It's gonna be this side. It got it got flooded out. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, totally that's flooded. That's right. It flooded everywhere from like out in the Thumb area at Vassar all the way up through Midland County, which is about 55 miles, like oh, river yeah. worth of river. Yeah. So all, flooded. I believe all the houses got like flooded mm -hmm. too. And they, you know, a lot of them they kept a pretty good spirit. There's some that mm -hmm. were obviously nowhere near the river, but because of the flood, mm -hmm. they posted uh, for sale waterfront property <laughs> just to be yeah, funny. Right. <laughs> Is it the government you know gonna like be? Uh, they help uh, all the families with that thing. I mean, like the flood things. Yeah. Well, as long as you have flood insurance, but yeah, yeah. if you don't, well, a lot of the times if you are considered in a flood zone, they make you purchase flood insurance. So you. Pay Hey, for all. Are we on the 15 minute tour or the half an hour tonight? Uh, 15 minutes. Okay, let's yep. double check in. Yep. Oh, you guys didn't know that the horse have to go all the way up here. You see, look, look back. Yeah, see, they go up the hill. hill see? see? He was showing off his four hoof drive. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> run, can I like you run here? Come behind. Oh, those are... No, no. The, how, how, do we, what do we call? Smithery, right? They're headstones. Yep, they're headstones. And if you notice, some of these headstones face towards us and some of them face away. Uh, that was We're a German tradition up. they practiced from about 1800 to about 1850. We're mm. going when on they, the road! Yes, they would actually give their loved ones the opportunity before they'd pass on to choose whether they wanted to watch the rising of the sun or the setting of the sun for eternity. It is always this peaceful back here. Even if they have a huge festival going on on Main Street, yeah. these streets are super quiet. But it's one of the quirky things about Franklin is everybody that lives here, That's they don't work here. Time. They all commute out of town. So what time you close? I mean, you uh, you uh, you start about eleven. We in the started about eight in the morning, and wow. uh, 
by the time we get to the streets, it's around 11 or 12. And then we usually leave the streets on the weekends around 10. And we'll leave the barn around midnight. So we're, we work from about 8 a.m. until midnight. <laughs> wow. This is so and I drive an day. hour from the Thumb to the barn every day, which is about 10 minutes out of town here out on Dixie wow, Highway. That's kind of far. Is so, that a tra- without out- the traffic or with the traffic? That's, uh, well, it takes me an hour with traffic. So it's, uh, yeah. so it's, by the time I get home, it can be 2 o'clock in the morning, and I have to be back to the barn at 8, and I have the hour drive. So most nights two I get about 5 hours of sleep. Home. Wow. But honestly, I don't feel like I'm working. I have a lot of fun during my day. Isn't he a cute boy? Did you see those feathers on his head? Those feathers are called a plume. And those plumes, the queens would put those on their horses to make sure they had the prettiest horse in town. Yeah, he's got white hair. And you know what? Do you know how, like, if you get a cut, talk to her. Come talk to her. Your, your ask her some questions about the horse. Lighter color than the rest come and of ask her skin? some questions about. Come well, and ask her some questions about the horse. If he gets a cut, his yeah. hair grows back white. She she know a lot of, a lot of information about the horse. Just ask her. You got any questions, bud? Yeah, ask her. I was just telling your sister that when a you know how like when you get a cut and your your skin grows back and it's a little bit lighter than your other skin as it grows a new skin. The horses when they get a cut. Their hair in that spot grows back white, just like our scars a little bit lighter. And horses don't have fur. They've got hair, just like we do. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that till I started working there. <laughs> oh, those are just to make our carriage pretty, but I can see we about lost our flowers on this side. The Amish actually made those flowers a couple of years ago. They look kind of rusting, right? Everybody gets sleepy, don't we? But yeah, I told her the plume, that the feather that's on her head, on Topper's head, the queens would put those on their horses to make sure that... Topper? His name is Topper. My name is Tabitha. <laughs> is this hard to, to call? <laughs> you can call me Tab. Tab. Yeah, it's going to be easier. It's a little bit easier. When I was a little girl, my brother and sister always wanted to call me 